Hello, so we are back and this time we have an interesting job. We have to program IEC chip, yeah? So this is for a Lenovo Legion 5, it's a gaming laptop. And uh, the customer sent, uh, sent the IEC chip uh, in order to be programmed. Now let me grab the programmer and let's do it together. Okay, so what we'll be using is the SVOD programmer, yeah? This is the SVOD 4. Basically, in order to program the EC chips, you can choose between SVOD and uh, Vertiano. Now, this is not advertised. Uh, actually, it's no, I don't think it's worth to buy a programmer. At least not here in the um, UK or probably United States. Um, you see, on on a country like UK, yeah, people are not really willing to fix the their laptops. I mean, it's so easy, you know. It, with the money which you earn it in one day, you go and buy another laptop. But if you go on different countries, yeah, like a poor country, uh, when the people are earning less, but the laptop price is the same, yeah. So they are willing to fix the laptops. Maybe on the on. This kind of circumstances, uh, it's worth to buy a EC programmer. On the other hand, on the last period of time, we have what? We have dead EC chips? No, we have dead, dead CPUs, dead chipsets, dead GPUs. Not that many dead uh, EC chips. But anyway, the customer uh, messed up with the, with the charger or the charging port got broken. And we all know what's happening when the charging port got broken on the Lenovo, yeah? And that's how it's made meant to be, yeah? If you broke the charging port, it's meant to punish the customer burning the EC chip, yeah? It's, it's a design. That's how it's designed. It's not a mistake, it's a design. Okay, now why I'm saying it's not worth to buy the programmer, I mean, for all what you see here, and I have one more uh, board for... Uh, this is actually... One second... This is for ITE, and we have IT chip, yeah. I have one more board. I have this socket and the programmer. It was like 700 pounds. I mean, I bought it like probably nearly two years ago. Yeah, nearly two years. One year and a half. And uh, I haven't took the money out what I pay for the programmer. Just to understand. So we have the P number one there. Here is the P number one. So I should use it like that, right? Yeah, P number one. This is what is called a zip socket. Okay, so we know the P number one should be here. Let's plug this. Okay, everything is set up. All what is left is to connect the chip. Now, this chip looks like brand new. It's inside of the foil, you can see the chip. You can't because my camera is not focusing. Yeah, yeah, you can see Lenovo ITA227E-192. And that 192 is important because that's the size of the AC firmware. Now let's put the chip inside. With the pin number one here. Good, so the chip is inside. Closing the lid. Now let's go and open the program. PC screen as well. Okay, everything is fine. Let's select the IT chip. IT, 3.3 is fine. Let's select the board. Select the motherboard. And we have a ZIF, ENE. Ah, sorry, we have IT. IT socket, select, good. Okay. 
So you see, we have a problem. Check here. You can see the, the SVOD is trying to speak with a chip. Check pin false, you can see. So one pin is not doing the job. You can see the red pin from here. Yeah. So that the red pin is not uh, responding. So what is the solution? The solution is to be sure our pin are clean. I mean, the chip is new, can be faulty, yeah. This it will get dirty, especially if you program um, like a chip you took it out from uh, a laptop. Okay, so we clean it. Let's put the chip back. One second, what is there? Yeah. Some, some flux. Good. Now let's put the chip back here. Perfect. Now let's close the lid. And let's try one more time. Good. Let's go to the program. Select. Retry. And now it's fine. You can see every pin is green. Check pin OK. 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 Uh, read ID. So we can read the chip ID. And we can see the flash ID, IT series detected. Now let's load the BIOS. And I do have the BIOS for this one. This one it is. Open. And now write. Erase false. Okay. And now the chip is not responding. IT not ready. Try again. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I had those problems before, I will... Uh, Open the bin, open, and press, uh, there's nothing that I can press, right? Open. Let's try with 3 volts, yeah? Read ID, and write. Yeah, now it's working, with 3 volts. Start writing and start writing the the EC chip. Now EC firmware you can find on our Discord, our forum, or you can try basically on Google. I seen on Bad Caps uh, forum. Uh, I seen a lot of BIOS and EC firmware, or pay services like Vinafix. I don't have a subscription there, but I'm just you know giving you options. And now it's verifying, and it's done. And that's how you program an EC chip. Now we've done the job. The EC chip is programmed, and it's ready to go back to the customer. Now how much I charge for a programming? I charge 30 pounds, free zero. That's what I charge for an EC chip programming. So why the customer want the EC chip and not actually the laptop to be repaired? Uh, the story is like that. So the customer broke the charging port and uh, the EC chip died. And you know what? I will say on this case, yeah, if someone will tell me the story, I will say, okay, just replace the EC chip and the laptop, it will work. Most likely it will work. 
customer. So the customer order a program ECG from uh, East European countries. And trust me, I really, really trust the East European countries. I mean, they are uh, like skilled people. So uh, he ordered a chip from uh, East European country, I believe from Bulgaria, if I remember. Uh, he fed the chip and the chip didn't work. And uh, he said, sorry, can I send you the laptop? And I said, you know what, you already try AC chip and it didn't work. Now, for me to take the risk, yeah, because I don't have this chip, I have to order. And this is mad expensive. When I say mad expensive, it's around 30 pounds. Let's check. Actually, let's check on eBay. Now, check here. Check on eBay, yeah? On eBay, this chip, it's around 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds from eBay. Uh, 21 uh, plus 3, I around 25 pounds from uh, from China. So, as you can see, this chip is quite expensive. 51.6 from Bulgaria. Okay, these are not uh, what we are looking for. So the chip is quite expensive, and uh, in order, you know, just to order, and I will, I usually, if I have a customer, yeah, I will order the chip. But this customer really tried one chip and didn't work, and I said, you know what, I can't take the job. The risk is too high. And the risk to order the chip, and actually, I, I'm losing the. It's about the time. It's not about the chip because I will, I will keep the chip for the next laptop, but I'm losing the time. And uh, then the customer said, okay, you know what, can you program the chip? And I said, yes, I can do it. Okay? So if you are, uh, you know, from United Kingdom, you have, you want uh, AC chip to be programmed, I don't mind, I can do it. Okay? That's how you program an AC chip. So buying an AC chip programmer, you know what, on some point, and I do have, I still have here, I bought a clone, a SVOD clone, which worked. I, we, we done videos, you remember, programming the AC chip via the, 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 the keyboard connector. Let me see if I can find it. If I remember, no, it's not on eBay anymore. When I bought it, it was like 60 pounds, and I was able to program AC chips, but now I can't, I can't see it anywhere. So, uh, not sure if you should buy or not, like how I said. Maybe in different country, it's a different story. Maybe on a big repair shop, it's a different story. But like an individual, you know, repairing stuff, uh, it's not really worth it. I'm doing for, uh, you know, for the videos, but otherwise, 99% uh, of the jobs are dead CPUs, chipset, and GPUs, are not actually easy chips. And uh, how I worked before, yeah, I work in a computer shop. And how, the way how I worked was, okay, what do we have? We have an AC chip, okay, I will order an AC chip. On that time, we have on Discord, we have a guy from, uh, from Romania, I just ordered the AC chip, and he will send you the, a programmed AC chip. I think he still has the, the listing on eBay. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. I'm happy I helped this customer. We have a uh, program EC chip here. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.